hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Winnie Duck here again with another video <laughs> if you're new here welcome if you're an OG you already know you have my heart please if you're new here and you're yet to join the family please click on the subscribe button down below join this family we're on our way to a thousand subscribers whoop 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 join this family help this me this video is a detailed video talking about coming to Ukraine and what you should pack. I already made a video previously on this note and due to that video I got a lot of questions and I felt like I should film a more detailed video being that the last one wasn't as detailed so I had got a lot of questions that I had to repeatedly answer to different people in my DMs so I just decided to film a video so like if you ask questions related to this just come and watch it and even if in this video you don't have all the answers please just comment in the comment section down below when I reply other people can see and also get their answers so I don't have to repeat the same message to different people all the time so without further ado let's get right into this video Room 16,680 gravings. I'll put the transl um, the dollar equivalents. I'll put the dollar equivalent screen. Um, so two seater room for the old rooms because they are now old rooms. That's I'm talking about my university now, Tenopio National Medical University. They are renovated rooms and they are old rooms that are not yet renovated. So the two seater rooms for the old rooms is um. This is a date for July 2020 till July 2021. This is the hostel fee for a whole year. Two seater room, 16,680 grievance, which is 1,390 grievance per month. Three seater room is 15,600 grievance, which is 1,300 grievance per month. Then four seater room is 13,320 gravings, which is 1,110 gravings per month. Then for the new rooms, that is the renovated rooms, they are new rooms, they are now bunk beds, right? These old rooms are not bunk beds, they are not renovated. These new ones are renovated to be more spacious. We have two seater rooms, 21,900 gravings. Per month is 1,825 gravings. Three seater rooms is 19,020 gravings, which is 1,585 gravings per month. Then the four seater room is 15,900 gravings, which is 1,325 gravings per month. Hostel insurance is 200 gravings, and you're allowed to pay for just one place. It's not allowed to pay for a whole room to yourself. Like before it was, but now they are now very strict with it. So you're not allowed to pay for a whole room. Like what to bring to Ukraine when coming, like food stores, hair products and all that. It's like when you're coming, specific things that you should bring when you're coming to Ukraine, yeah. Food stores. If you like cereal, if you're a cereal person, then you should be looking at getting um your cereals your nigerian cereal. there are conflicts here but it doesn't taste like nigerian to me actually i don't really think that they taste the same cocoa pops you know all these rice crisps and the likes those ones that we can get in nigeria yes you can get it in the uk but no you cannot get it in ukraine so if you are someone that cannot do without such things then it's better you get like two big big packs of each of them and pack them and come it's better you pack those ones and come than you pack clothes i'm telling you those ones are better because they have them in the african store here in my city we have an african store in most cities actually not most cities well 
quite a number of cities have African stores in them where you can get these things and even if your city doesn't have African store you can always order from another city to your city but trust me it is always better more economical more pocket friendly for you to bring your stuff from home even if you have to pay extra luggage for them to be honest really like powder milk we do not have powder milk here you would have to go to the african stores to buy Af powder milk so if you are someone that cannot live without powder milk please bring your powder milk when you're coming thanks if you have any specifics that you want to ask just write it in the comment section and i will say yes or no to it i will answer oh we have or we don't have okay say so raw foods beans gary rice noodles and stuff like that yes please do bring those things because they don't have it like they are not ukrainian foods so they don't you have to go to the african stores and unlike the uk and the us where these things are cheaper in the african stores like not really cheap but like they are better they are more affordable there compared to ukraine ukraine the african stores are more expensive because i understand that customs and shipping for them is very expensive and also renting a place a store here is really expensive so these things increase the price for these things here so i mean you can always come here if you don't want to stress yourself but this is my candid advice for the first few months at least you have something to start off with then going forward you can begin to buy things from the african store thereby you've saved yourself a few bucks from spending those extra money during your period here so yeah and the person also said will i be able to get clothes there or should i buy just buy before coming Apart from food clothes bring you can buy clothes and come but i would say come here and buy clothes because clothes in ukraine clothes and shoes are cheaper than nigeria i don't like i keep saying this i don't I, in fact it surprises me how that is the case but because the quality of clothes here and shoes here compared to nigeria i'm like shouldn't it be more expensive here but especially when they have sales like not those really expensive boutiques but there are some boutiques that even their sales they're like could just come and carry my account <laughs> but uh, yeah there are some shops that you can go and you'll find really affordable things there are warehouses you can go to buy there is aero shop we call them the second hand shop like where you get second hand clothes there are aero shops where you can get nice thrifts yes thrift clothes go thrifting and get really nice clothes jackets shoes and clothes actually summer clothes winter clothes sweaters anyone you want there is the market also where you could buy things so in my opinion it's better you come with food makeup hair products than with clothes come bring your hair products your attachments as much as you can your weavons as much as you can bring everything by yourself to the country because listen it will do you a whole lot of good you'd actually be very thankful for this video and share this video to other people and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel while i'm talking and you're just looking at my mouth and my beautiful face and you've not yet subscribed to my channel you don't have kindness in your heart to be to be very candid with you no really seriously why are you not subscribed to my channel please just a minute subscribe to my channel while i continue with the question god bless you thank you natural hair products only african stores you can't really get natural hair products in ukrainian stores obviously so if you have a special uh, natural maybe can sue something that you can be using that is cheap there or who hope you can buy it i'll leave a link to the ukrainian stores um sorry african stores in my city so you can check them on instagram and see the kind of things they have and say okay what you would like to you know bring or what you'd like to forfeit yeah that makes sense okay i'll do that for you guys all right so um moving on please hope you have subscribed thank you and to bring books laptop should i buy them here or should i buy them there meaning should i buy it in nigeria or should i buy it here books and laptops like in my previous video i said there's no need to bring books because all you do is online and now with the pandemic classes are online so please why are you carrying book up and down to look for what do you need test books for we're in the digital age so ain't nobody going up and down with books but if you are the hard copy type of person you insist maybe i have one book in mind um atlas anatomy atlas that's one holy grail for me i feel like anatomy is your first year course is anatomy and like the main course right in first year is anatomy and 
listen i cannot overemphasize the impact of atlas in my life because there are some things the teachers say that you cannot really understand until you see a picture of it so atlas gives you visuals of muscles arteries bones all the likes you get me so you're able to see visual representation labels and understand and simulate better so please if you can you can buy your hard copy atlas but there is always e copy to use but you can have uh, those textbooks are expensive extra luggage in my opinion really if you can't don't just don't don't but ukraine there's there's like in my own city now there's no textbook except students that are graduating or people that are done with that course that want to sell their textbook or give them out apart from that there's no like a bookshop where you just go to buy textbooks no they are just for ukrainian books not english textbooks maybe english novels but not english textbooks I'll leave the link to the um, Nigerian Student Union page in my city. They have an online library. So you could also contact them, their Instagram page, and you could also contact them. Hi, NSU. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> so you could also contact them for more information concerning coming to study here, the books you will need and whatnot, whatnot. I believe they'll be in a great position to guide you on that. So, um... Is it compulsory to have a laptop? No, it's not compulsory to have a laptop, but it would be great. It would be absolutely great. I cannot overemphasize how important it will be for you to have a laptop in Ukraine because, listen, everything you're doing is online and your phone is going to be really stressful. Your phone will not spoil quick. Do you get me? Just get a laptop or a tablet, iPad or a tablet if you can't get a laptop. But gadgets are cheaper in Ukraine compared to Nigeria. Don't ask me how, don't ask me why. I don't know till tomorrow. I think about it. I don't understand why, but it is what it is, isn't it? So please, um, if you haven't gotten your laptop or your gadget yet and you're thinking, you're considering whether to get it in Nigeria or Ukraine, I'd say come to Ukraine and get it. You'll get good quality, good guarantee, you know, one year guarantee, some are two years guarantee. Um, So the person asked if I can bring my makeup products. I already said that. Yes, you should bring your makeup products along with you if you have them. Um, what else? So I think that's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all there is to this video. Please, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video. Share this video to as much people that would need to know about it. Like if you're already even in Ukraine and people are asking you questions like this, just send them this video because. <laughs> I'm here for you. I already compiled all the questions that are most likely to be asked that I did not put much emphasis on or talk much more on in my previous video that I did. If you've not checked out that video, I'll link it somewhere up on the screen so you check it out. And if you have any more questions, please do also leave it in the comment section. Please don't come to my DM on Instagram. I mean, come and be friends with me, dear. Let's talk. But the reason I'm saying don't come to my DM on Instagram and ask the questions is because other people are asking the same question so i'm not repeating the same answer to those people every time you come you ask your own the same question i reply you next person come ask it gets really boring and exhausting it's no it's not sweet thing it's not juicing let's talk something else come to my dm let's talk something else my name my instagram name is always on the screen so you check it out and follow me on instagram subscribe to my youtube channel and to the next time you see this beautiful akugu a samwa, a sampete, a whole snack, you know, <laughs> a full cost meal, my brother, my sister. Next time you see me on your screen, stay fabulous. I love you. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you. God bless you. Bye. Bye.